Hey guys, this is a tutorial just showing you how to um, add your, it's called a whitelist withdraw BTC address. So what's going to happen is if you have a Bittrex account, you have uh, a balance that you want to withdraw, you will actually need, or there's an extra security feature where you need to kind of prove each uh, BTC address or Bitcoin address before you can withdraw to it. So what you'll do is you go to settings. Um, you're going to go to withdraw whitelist. That's what we're doing here. When you do that, what you're going to be um, doing is putting in what coin. You can set this for different coins. So me, I actually want to, let's see, I want to grab an address from, I think I'm going to do Polynix. So if I grab my BTC address here, copy, and then I come over here to um this thing now i do have my phone in my hand and i'm using the google authenticator app you're going to need to set that up that could be another video but basically um you probably already have that if you're dealing with any of these um crypto trading sites or exchanges so you will grab your code from the authenticator for bitrix um so my code right now i'm actually going to put my address in first so paste the btc address and then I'm going to put in the code of, actually it's about to refresh. I'm going to let it refresh and I'll put the new code in. So as you can see, I have these two addresses here. So these two are approved for me to withdraw to. Um, but I want to add this one. And so you can see it ends in a Q. Um, so right here would be the authenticator code, which is 080125 for me. And every, like I don't know, 30 seconds or something, it resets. BTC, going to this address this code this is not actually sending anything this is just verifying uh, verifying the address if I hit set right here you'll notice it's gonna say oh hold on duplicate entry okay so so I already have the address that's I guess that's good to know wait QW which one is this one here oh okay so the address is right there I guess mine that's why I didn't go through but either way um, so what would happen is mine's already set but it would pop down here, populate. You can add as many as you want. I think I don't think there's a limit on that, but you want to have just your addresses there. That way, nobody can kind of come in here. If they do get into your account or hack your account, they can't take anything to their own BTC address or wallet. Um, they can just get uh, yours, and they obviously won't have the Google Authenticator because that's the method of uh, of authorization that that is um, letting you add these addresses. They can't just add their address. So, anyways, that's it. Short video. IP whitelist is going to be something different. Um, IP whitelist, if I'm not mistaken, is going to be which IPs you can uh, log in from so that you don't get um, disabled, which is kind of important too. I was disabled for quite some time with Bittrex. But anyways, that's it. Come to withdraw whitelist. Uh, you add the addresses you want for whatever coin, um, and then you will save it, and it will populate right here.